Welcome to the second Focus videocast. I'm Paul Parsons. We're here today in Filton in South Gloucestershire, home of British aviation and large deserted pieces of land. It's the sort of deserted place out in the middle of nowhere where you might want to come if you wanted to have some fun with one of these. Yes, today we'll be showing you some very cool experiments indeed that you can do with your microwave oven. Microwaves, it turns out, are good for a lot more than just cooking your dinner. But first, some important safety advice. Don't try this at home. You make a mess, and even worse, you might even break something important, such as your TV or your stereo. So make sure you do, you come outside like we've done, um, or better still, go around someone else's house. Also note that we're using state-of-the-art protective gear. Um, I'm wearing some goggles just in case of flying blast fragments, not that we're anticipating any blasts, of course. Um, I have some ear defenders to protect my delicate little lug holes. And just in case of any flying microwave doors that might strike me on the bonds, I'm wearing a state-of-the-art uh, skater's reinforced beanie hat. Uh, this, is, this is actually the rib cap. It's made from a material called D3O, um, which, which is normally very, very soft to wear, but give it a clout and it toughens up uh, to protect your noggin. Uh, I've also got some other oven gloves and some tongs to stop me burning my little fingers and just in case of emergencies we have deputy editor Sally Palmer with a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit. I should also add um, that whether or not you choose to follow these instructions, um, myself and my colleagues here and um, the editors and publishers of Focus magazine can accept no responsibility whatsoever for your experiments. All experiments are conducted at your own risk, so don't come whining to us if you break anything. Now, for those who don't know, um, microwave cooking was discovered in 1945 by scientists building radar sets in America. Um, and it basically works uh, using what's called a magnetron tube. Now, this is something that spits out um, very, very high energy electrons. Uh, these are negatively charged subatomic particles. These are then sent into a magnetic field which makes them move in a circle. And as they do so, they radiate energy. And that energy comes out as the microwaves which are used for cooking. Um, now, microwaves are just another form of electromagnetic radiation. Um, in fact, they lie uh, between radio waves and infrared rays in the electromagnetic spectrum. Spectrum. Now, as everyone knows, microwaves are pretty efficient at warming things up, and they do this by a process called dielectric heating. Now, this is where uh, molecules inside the material that you're warming up get agitated by the microwaves. Basically, the molecules have uh, negatively charged bits and positively charged bits, and as the uh, microwaves pass through the food, these molecules try and align themselves with the electric field in the microwaves. And as they flip backwards and forwards doing this and rub together, that's actually what makes them warm up. The process actually works best in materials that are liquid, because in a liquid, the molecules are free to move around a lot more. Um, which means they can rub together more and warm up quicker. And that's why when you microwave your food, your food gets hot while the container stays cool. So today we're going to show you some very, very cool experiments that you can use microwaves to do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you to do is how to save money on your soap using nothing but your trusty microwave oven. I'm actually going to put this uh, piece of soap inside the microwave. First I'm going to put that, we don't need the... Uh, last dish and we don't need this plastic thing in the middle. Very important that you leave that metal grid on though. That's what actually stops the microwaves leaving the oven and um, stops them actually cooking you. So that would be a good idea to leave that one in. So I'm going to put this uh, piece of soap right in the middle of the microwave, which is one of the main hot spots. What's actually going to happen is that all the fat and water inside that soap is going to heat up. That's going to make the soap soft and pliable so it then expands and it should expand to about five times its uh, original size, giving you lots more soap for your money. So let's see what happens. Okay, so putting that on for... Let's just reset that and off we go. That's cooking for about three and a half minutes now. Righty ho, we've been running for about two, two and a half minutes now, so let's see what kind of state our soap is actually in. Ah! As you can see, that's not quite five times its size yet, but then we've only cooked it for a couple of minutes. We've actually got a fairly, fairly hefty piece of uh, soap there, certainly much bigger than the piece of soap I bought. Um, so yeah, how to make soap last longer using your microwave oven. And ready for 
ready to do some more experiments um, following a, uh, a minor interruption from the local fire service. Um, which does lead me on quite neatly to the safety aspects of using your trusty microwave oven. Something you should never do when you use a microwave is to put a cup of water in it because what will actually happen is that the water will become superheated. It will actually reach a temperature which is hotter than 100 degrees C, which is the maximum you can achieve in your kettle or on a stove, and that can actually make the water explode, which you obviously don't want. So I'm going to try and demonstrate that now using an egg. Now, obviously an egg has got quite a lot of water inside of it, and if you microwave that for long enough on full power, what you'll actually find is that all that water will turn to steam and will actually make your egg explode. So that's what we're going to try and replicate here now. I'm just resetting the timer there. So shut the door, uh, 10 minutes and off we go. Oh. That was a little more. Oh. Ah, as you can see, that is one truly well and truly explained.